not yet. I need some fresh ones. I'll take them. Starts on the outside or the inside? It says start here on this one. Every ball of twine always starts from the middle, right? Jack knife sure cuts nice to me. And you make your knot good and tight, good enough to go through the baler. Hopefully. Sometimes they still get caught. So right now the baler is drawing the twine from this ball. And it's drawing it, I don't know, can you see? From this ball. So it pulls all the twine out from the middle. And as it gets done, the end is now tied to the middle, which is the start of every, every ball of twine. So now this one, the, left, the end, will get tied to the middle of the new ball. And it would only be a miss, Dad, during the, during the ball exchange if your knot would be a big fat knot that wouldn't make it through. That. Usually that's when it happens when it changes balls. But it's also really important to cut off your access there. Yeah. Alright, so we just got a lesson from Dad about switching out the balls of twine. And I touched on this in the last video. Um, about the, uh, the, bale, the bale kicker. See how he's got it turned right now? There's a bale ready to come out of the kicker. So he can actually use the hydraulics to tilt the kicker. Because if that bale gets kicked, if that bale gets kicked on the corner like that, he'll miss the wagon. And so he lowers the pressure, the hydraulic pressure with that handle close to the cap when he's on the corners so it doesn't shoot it over the wagon. Then when he gets back on the straightaways, he gives that, uh, that handle a turn, turns the pressure back up and he can fire the bales to the back of the wagon.
Oh, he's oh. got legs. <laughs> Your kindness is? A gopher. No. <laughs> a field mouse. No. Um, I know, I know. Uh, uh, a 13. Right. Line. Oh. Yeah. 13 line ground squirrel. Can I hold oh, it? No. You bite. I got gloves. You always so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh, oh. <Stop. laughs> this is My mom's on the fit John Deere 50 taking the outside windrow away from the edge. Um, it doesn't dry as nice, it's usually damp on the edge. So after we get a few, uh, the first two rounds picked up, then she usually comes by and pulls it away from the edge. Helps it dry a little bit and it's easier for dad to pick up uh, going the clockwise direction with the baler. guys another day of haying this is another grassy mix field um, the weather hasn't been just perfect enough to cut the uh, thick alfalfa new seeding um, kind of needs like a fourth or maybe even a fifth day of drying to be really ready to have dry squares so we decided to go after this grassy field and uh, it wasn't exactly a great window either, so we didn't cut this whole field. Uh, if you notice in the vid video, we did a little dog leg over here and then came and did another section. And that's just because we're playing the weather. We knew we'd have enough time to pick it up today. Um, it's a cloudy day today, but there's actually rain forecast for tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So that's why we're doing this field. Put on that tractor. That's because it's got smallpox. <laughs> 